Hello, good morning everyone. I'm writer coach Tony and I'm doing this video to answer another question posed by a uh, follower of my channel. Um, I think it's a her or a him. The picture looks like a him. But anyway, it's Linve Agaser. Okay. Um, the title of this um, question is about surveys through interviews. This is email. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, sir. I saw your video from YT and I saw your email. Might I ask if you think survey through interview, survey through interview is still reliable to be my data or is even accepted in using in thesis works? I hope you can answer this question, sir. Have a great afternoon and more power. Um, okay, by asking this question, I'm surprised that your teacher uh, discussed to you um, the methodologies. No? There are many methodologies, but normally for um, senior high school or master of students, it's normally a uh, majority of the studies would either be qualitative or quantitative. The qualitative means we use statistics. Qualitative is usually through what is said, interviews. No? So when do you use qualitative analysis? When do you use interviews for your studies, for your thesis works? Um, you usually use this if your number of respondents is very few, for example, you only want to interview the top managers of corporations, um, then you can use the qualitative analysis. Because you can, through that way, you can choose maybe five uh, top respondents, uh, and through the interviews, you can get the answers you want for your thesis. So yes, you can use. Um, Uh, data through interviews. Uh, yun lang, you cannot, you said surveys through interviews. Um, there are surveys where you interview, no? Um, this usually done, like, maybe if you go to 7 Eleven, somebody comes up to you and asks, Can I interview for a few minutes? That's a survey through interviews. Uh, but, but that has to be, that's time consuming. <laughs> and then, um, you have to make sure you're getting the respondents you really want because if it's very random, like in a 7-Eleven store, um, unless that's what you really want for your study, so you have to be very clear on who the respondents you really want to for your study. Um, what I'm saying is, for the studies where my students use interviews, it's usually for those studies whose respondents uh, are not that many. Usually, more malang some pool or people of um, or sources of sources of information from people who are usually experts so this is a you know like for example um, if you want to study and then the respondents are brain surgeons so ilan bang brain surgeons sa buong Manila so it would be counterproductive to use um, survey yung survey survey no Kasi baka sampu lang sila, baka 20 lang sila. So to those 20, um, good luck na lang kung maka-interview ka ng lima, no? Considering your schedule. So what I'm saying is, if your, if your study is focused on a very specific group of respondents, then use the interviews. And usually the hardest part there is finding the time to interview them. Kasi they're very busy people. And then you have to prep them with the questions. And then you have to make sure that they answer each of the questions you give them in the interview, otherwise, wala kang output, no? wala kang sasagot sa, wala kang analysis, wala kang may analyze na data. So, it's very important that you pick, if you're doing interviews, to pick your, um, your respondents very well. Um, when else can you use it? For example, if you're focusing on case studies, usually you use some psychology, Courses they use case studies, no, yung mga sexually abused or yung mga, mga yung very specific cases. It's better to use the case study interview form, no, yung sinasabi mo, through interviews, kasi you can focus on certain uh, cases no, which you think uh, can answer uh, your statement of the problem. That's always the idea, ha? Dapat yung lahat ng ginagawa mong everything. All the data you want to get should be able to answer your statement of the problem. 
Kasi daw, usually for for qualitative analysis, qualitative studies like yours, um, there's no statistics. Eh. So we have to use um, tools. Actually, I'm not really very familiar with them to say I rarely use them, but um, we have to. They use the yung similar words. Um, you have to browse to all the answers and find out which are similar, which which answers deviate from um, the, uh, the others. You know. So, in other words, you get so much data um, that you have to be very careful when you analyze them. No? And, and analyze them in a way that you uh, find out how it fits into answering your statement of the problem. Because if ever, if you, for example, if you interview five top managers of let's say insurance companies, um, one or two of them might give answers which are not similar to the others. So you have to find out, you have to analyze why they answered that way. Or if you're smart enough, you could have asked them at the interview why they answered that way. Bakit iba yung sagot nila sa? Of course, you don't say it to them, but their answers won't be um, as much as possible that they must like guide to an answer. They should be able to answer it independently and without any outside influence, especially from you. But you get the data raw, you get it um, straight from the horse's mouth as it is. So anyway, I am Lin V. I hope I was able to answer your question. Yes, go on with the interview. Uh, if you want interview, fine, fantastic. The, um, just make sure you get the right people to interview. Uh, don't interview too many kasi kukulan ka ng oras. Because normally for interviews, you have to transcribe it. You have to type it and you have to put it at the back of your... Because that's your data already. You have to put it at the back of your... It's in an appendix, no? So, yun, medyo madugo talaga siya. So, if you can interview five people, yun, okay na yun. Kasi, na po, makapal na yun, actually. A 30-minute interview, makapal na yun. Um, so, make sure you, you answer direct questions. Make sure your questions answer your statement of the problem. And then, hopefully, 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 your respondents that you picked um, are the correct respondents and they can answer uh, what you're studying about. So with that, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your question, Lindy. Please uh, subscribe to my channel um, and then follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook. So, bye.